The Cities of Sigmar Great to Glory continues and after petting up 700 points so far, it's time to add the Alchemite Warforger to the army. The two biggest parts of the model is the leather and the smoke, so I really want them to pop out, but I'm going to start with the skin. And I've no set way of doing skin, apart from pick some Cadian flesh tone and shading it with Gulliman flesh. So I'm going to work on a painting video for skin tones in the future. After three thin layers of Cadian flesh tone, I move on to the silver parts and use lead belcher on the tongue staff, the chain mail, parts of the boots and the hefty looking crucible he's carrying. For the boots and gloves, I used Abaddon Black. Instead of going all silver, I wanted to break up the metal colours, so I went with Liberator Gold on his helmet. To start the leather, I wanted to start bright, so I went with Scrag Brown as the base coat. To help separate the straps from the leather, I went with a darker brown on them with Doom Bull Brown. After tidying up any mistakes, I applied Lead Belcher onto the rivets, the buckles and parts of the helmet. Speaking of the helmet, it was shading time and I used Gore Grunter Brown to darken the gold. For the silver, it was nulling oil all over. I put two layers over the crucible to really darken it down. Now for the leather, and the first shade I use is a mixture of one part nulling oil, three parts serif and sepia and some lamin medium added in. While that's drying, I shade the skin with gullum and flesh and making sure not to let it pull up in the recesses too much. With the leather shade dry, I then use the same shade mixture as before but with more lamian medium added in and I just shade the bottom third. Then I do it again but starting just a little bit lower down. To finish it off, I go with pure serif from sepia along the very bottom and add some onto the rune markings. With the shades dry, I start to lighten the skin back up by layering thin coats of Cadian flesh tone and then Kislev flesh onto the higher parts. Now this is where I mess up a little bit. I thought dry brushing the leather was a good idea, so I started dry brushing it with a dry brush that's clearly too big with scrag brown. And it worked on parts of it, but I ended up covering over the shaded parts too much. So before I fix it, I highlight the very edges with a mixture of scrag brown and white scar. If you have a steady enough hand, you can highlight the scratches on the leather, but I just left it for now. The repair job is on, and I went back and applied the shading again. Learn from your mistakes lads, we all do it. The boots and gloves were then highlighted with storm vermin fur along the very edges and on the fingertips. When I went to highlight the gold helmet, I noticed that the gore grunter shade had completely dulled down the small Sigmar comments that I had painted with lead belcher. That might make it a really good shade for darker silver parts in the future, but for now I just highlight the edges of the helmet with liberator gold. I go back to the dry brush again, but this time being more careful, and I dry brush Stormhole Silver on the silver parts. Then I switch to a smaller brush and I add the final highlights on the helmet. Now for the most important part of the model, the smoke and the piece on the tongue. And I was worried about this part because it's such a key part that I wanted it to look really good. The way I approached it was to start with white and build up the bright colours from the bottom with contrast paints and a small bit of lemon medium added in. I started with Corax white on the inside of the crucible and the smoke. When dry, I used Imperial Fist contrast to cover the inside and up along the smoke. I then used Ayandan yellow on the top two thirds of the area. Blood Angels Red is the final contrast to be added and I use it mostly on the higher parts but I also add some bits of it into the crucible. With the contrast paints finally dry, the finishing touch was to add a small dry brush of Abaddon Black onto the very edges of the smoke. And with that, my Cities of Sigmar army has an Alchemite Warforger all ready for the battlefield. I get distracted very easily when painting, so I couldn't believe that I sat down and painted this guy in a single day. He was actually a lot easier than I thought he was going to be, but I really enjoyed painting him. So far I've painted a free guild cavalier marshal, a unit of cavaliers, two units of 20 steel helms, and now with the warforger finished, the army's total painted is 810 points. 
We're past the halfway mark and for the next video I'm going to keep going with the hero models and make a start on the free guild Marshall and his relic envoy. But if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. And once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.